We all have goals, whether they're big or small. But let's face it, staying motivated isn't always easy. That's where this unique mirror comes in. Whether you're trying to build a new habit, break an old one, or just make some positive changes in your life, this mirror can help you achieve those goals faster. The idea for this project actually started as something entirely different and very personal. So personal in fact that I hadn't planned on sharing it with anyone to be honest. But after seeing the positive impact it had on me, I realized it could help others too. Let me explain. A few months ago I went through a bit of a rough patch. You know, when things just seem to pile up and it feels like no matter how hard you try, you're just not moving forward. It's during these times that people often say things like, after rain comes sunshine, or every cloud has a silver lining. And while these are nice thoughts, I started to wonder if they were actually true. So one evening, after a particularly challenging day, I decided to put this idea to the test in a way that made sense to me, the engineering way. I sat down to write down all the significant events in my life for as long as I could remember. The good, the bad, and everything in between. I then rated each of these events on a scale of 1 to 10, based on how much impact they had on me. A 10 being a life-changing event, and a 1 being something small but still noteworthy. To visualize those results, I 3D printed some parts so I could set up two LED strips on my wall. One green for positive events, and one red for the negative ones. I then programmed an Arduino to light up each LED based on the events I had written down. So now each LED represents a different moment in my life. And the brighter the light, the more impactful the event. So a true visual representation of all the ups and downs I've experienced. And as I watch the LED lights flow from my earliest memories to the present, I noticed something pretty remarkable. From beginning to end, the green and red were almost constantly perfectly balanced. This showed me that for every difficult moment, there was something good that followed. For me, it was proof right there in front of me that no matter how tough things get, there's always something positive just around the corner. And I don't know how, but seeing this made me instantly more at ease with my situation at that time. And that's what got me thinking. If this could help me, maybe it could help others too. But the problem is, not everyone is going to spend hours writing out their life story and programming LEDs. It's just not practical. So I started brainstorming to come up with something similar, but that's easy for anyone to use. And that's when I came up with the idea of this mirror. But before I explain how it works, let's look at how it's made. The mirror's casing is made up from multiple layers of plywood, each with a different thickness which I laser cut on my x 2 P2. First, we have a 3mm thick back panel, followed by two 12mm thick layers that will act as spacers to create room inside the mirror for the electronics. And finally, there's an 8mm thick frame that will finish off the design once everything is assembled. For the reflective surface, I laser cut a 3mm thick acrylic sheet and covered it with self-adhesive mirror film. And this film has an interesting property. It's not only re reflective on the outside, making it almost impossible to see through, especially when there's a dark background behind it, but from the inside you can see through it pretty clearly, which is essential for the LEDs we'll be adding in a minute. Since the mirror effect is enhanced by a dark background, I spray the inside of the casing with a black paint to get the desired effect. And do you have an awesome idea for a project yourself that you really want to build? but you can't because you just don't have the right tools or machines, then I can highly recommend you take a look at PCBWay.com because they offer a variety of high quality manufacturing solutions for projects like these and many others, including yours. From PCB production and assembly to 3D printing and from sheet metal fabrication to CNC machining. If you're interested, you can check out the link in the video description. Special thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Okay. Time to install the LED strip for the progress bars, as well as the LED rings that will serve as the push button indicators. To ensure the LEDs are aligned properly, I 3D printed a few mounting parts that will be held in place when we mount these printed covers that will diffuse the LED light and at the same time constrain it. But how do you press a button through a mirror you might be wondering? 
That's where these small capacitive touch sensor modules come into play. We'll attach them to the back side of the mirror, right in the center of the LED rings. A capacitive touch sensor works in a pretty fascinating way. Just picture an invisible field surrounding the sensor. When you bring your finger near it, the field changes slightly due to the natural electrical charge in your skin. You don't even need to touch the sensor directly. This tiny shift is enough for the sensor to detect your presence and send a signal to the circuit, allowing us to use the sensor as a touch switch behind the mirror without physically pressing anything. To control the LED lighting using these sensors, we'll need a microcontroller, like this Arduino Nano for example. This will serve as the brain of the operation, which I programmed to do exactly what we want, when we want it. Initially, I considered powering the mirror with a power adapter, but afterwards that didn't seem very practical for most scenarios. So instead, I opted for batteries. Given that the electronics inside the mirror require a fair amount of power and frequent battery changes would be inconvenient, I chose three high capacity batteries instead of the standard AA batteries. And according to my calculations, these batteries should keep the mirror running for at least six months without needing a recharge. Lastly, before we mount the mirror in the frame, we need to install this small motion sensor. And this motion sensor is crucial for the functionality of the mirror, and here's why. The idea of this mirror is that you write down a goal that you really want to achieve on a piece of paper. Then you slide the paper into the slot on the side of the mirror. And from now on, this goal is your commitment. Once a day, when you walk past the mirror, the motion sensor detects your presence and the LEDs light up, showing you a green and a red button. It's like the mirror is asking you, did you work towards your goal today? You simply press the green button if you did, or the red button if you didn't. Over time, you'll see your progress right in front of you. It's a simple daily reminder to stay accountable to yourself and keep pushing forward, one step at a time. And it's okay to push the red button. We all have days when things don't go as planned. What matters is that over time you're seeing more and more green lights, that you're making progress towards your goal, no matter how small the step may seem. Whether you're trying to build a new habit, break an old one, or just make some positive changes in your life, this mirror can be a great tool to help you stay on track if you ask me. But then of course, I'm just an engineer and not a psychologist. So what do I know about that? So let me know if this concept is something that could help you. Perhaps you have ideas to improve it. Or do you think this idea is completely useless? Just remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction.